Hi everyone, welcome to Cash Walks. Today we're going downtown Chicago to find three virtuals. So come with us and see what we can find down in that area of Chicago. We parked the car and headed over to see Cloudgate, nicknamed The Bean, a public sculpture by Indian-born British artist Sir Anish Kapoor. Kapoor's design was inspired by liquid mercury and the sculpture's surface reflects and distorts the Chicago skyline. It's Muggle Central, so a good place for a virtual. Everyone was having fun taking photos and uh, playing with the reflections. On the underside is the navel, a concave chamber that warps and multiplies reflections. To log the virtual, you need a photograph of your reflection in the beam. On to the Art Institute of Chicago and another photograph to log its virtual. We went first to see its wonderful collection of art glass paperweights. Then the highlight of the visit, the paintings. We had no idea at the number of famous paintings exhibited here. We discovered one around every corner. The Institute has a permanent collection of nearly 300,000 works of art. It's most famous for its collections of Impressionist and Post-Impressionist paintings, widely regarded as one of the finest collections outside of France. Highlights include more than 30 paintings from Claude Monet, including six of his haystacks and a number of water lilies. We had seen this painting by Surratt many times in books, but had no idea how large it is. Van Gogh called this painting Bedroom. He painted three versions. The other two are in Paris and Amsterdam. This painting is special to us as Lynn's mother painted a copy that hangs on the wall in our house. It was fascinating to see the original. We were surprised to come across Nighthawks considered an icon of American culture. We were disappointed that one of the 20th century's most famous American artworks, American Gothic, was not on display, having been loaned to the Whitney Gallery in New York. Then it dawned on us that we were heading to New York to fly home. We called in for a look. It was great to see it in person. Now back to the streets of Chicago. We headed over to log the next virtual geocache at the Buckingham Fountain, one of the world's largest fountains. It's in a Rococo wedding cake style, inspired by the Tona Fountain at the Palace of Versailles.
Hi, we're back now from uh, downtown Chicago after having a lovely day. The artwork we saw was absolutely spectacular. Just roomfuls of Renoirs, Monets, Gauguins. It was just amazing. So thanks for watching. And don't forget to go geocaching.